I stopped paying into the system because I realized that one thing about the system is that it actually leads to killing the earth. Pretty much everything that the system accepts and promotes is for personal greed and toxicity of everything. It seems like no one really cares. So I must get a job and aid in the destruction of the earth in order so that I can eat. Well, I was raised in a, in a mill town, an industrial town, uh, where like you go to high school and then you either go to college or you go into the mills. I've worked in the brake plant before, like making brakes with asbestos, with people with white jackets continuously telling me that, oh, this is the good asbestos. This is not the bad asbestos. <laughs> right. It's, it's horrible work, right? It's, it's basically, you go in, do the repetitive job, and then leave. Go in, do the repetitive job, leave, and so on and so forth. Then you get a paycheck, you pay the rent, and you have very little money left over for food and whatever else. It's not really a life. <laughs> so I decided to uh, escape the, the black hole of eastern Ontario and take off. I realized that there's so much money wasted on shelter whenever I can just be sleeping outside during the summer and fall months. And at that moment, I truly felt free. I no longer had to work in places like Zellers and, and doing security guard work. So I was completely free. All I had to worry about was my food for that day. And more and more as I realized what was going on with like um, the lack of freedom that's going around, um, the summit that was happening in uh, Quebec, the, the FDWA. I realized, it confirmed my belief that uh, this world is not free. This world is being controlled by a dictatorship, uh, by the rich, the elite. And I had never paid rent after that. I stopped and I had not paid rent for about two years now. And I won't. We're losing the sense of family. We're losing the sense of being together right here, right now. I was raised in this world with a family that didn't show love. And I separated myself from that family because there's no way for me to live. We are human, we are creatures, we are a tribe, even though we've forgotten about that. Uh, one person in the tribe is hungry, goes out, gathers some food, brings it back, not just for the self, but for whoever else is hungry as well. So therefore, many people benefit from it. That's what the tribe is all about. I look around me and I see concrete, I see crime, like I see people that are hurt, or I believe everyone in some way, to some degree, is hurt. And because of this, we feel alone. And even though there's millions of people all around us, we seem to still feel alone. Here in, in society, in the city, uh, everything is a distraction. So everyone is always constantly being um, uh, aroused, uh, constantly being uh, bombarded by all the, this information, be it lights, noise, um, sights, sounds, uh, everything. Uh, I feel like a lot of people that are looking around them and realizing that there is something going on, that there, there is a game being played. Uh, a lot of people are looking around themselves and realizing that, wait a second, I don't feel free. I see beautiful solutions of tearing up the roads, 
Um, instead of having toxic cars driving on them, having edible landscapes planted throughout the valleys amongst the streets of greenery, beautiful food everywhere. <laughs> I see shelters being, that are already built being liberated for people to live in so that people can actually be alive, be fed, be warm, and therefore be nurtured. And we can focus on things that truly are concerning us, like the hurt that has been placed upon us so that we can heal, instead of slaving ourselves away in this society, this free and democratic country. It would be so beautiful to just be, to, to wake up in the morning on, in the sunshine, in the forest, go over to a beautiful spot where you can feel the warmth from the wind, jump off the cliff into a beautiful pool down below, <laughs> enjoy the swim, dry off in the sun, and reach over and grab whatever is closest to you that you can eat. That is my idea of happiness. There's a lot more going on than what I realized, so I went onto the streets to, to start over, to, to start from scratch, to realize exactly what is going on. The only way to make a change is to change oneself. Here comes Dick, he's wearing a skirt. Here comes Jan, you know she's sporting a chain. Same gender revolution, revolution. Bum, 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 bum.